Um, so like going off um, the first image, um, so that was the kind of beauty shoot you did with the pink. Do you remember that one? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Like yeah. Was, um, like how did you find that shoe and were the creators you worked with, like what did you like that they did and you know, how old is that picture? Is it recently new? Is it old work? So that was a couple of years ago. Um, it was for a jewellery company called Ashley Clark. Okay. Um, and that was in a studio in London and they were really nice. It was really like close up beauty work. Um, yeah. And it was kind of an all day shoot. It was a long process. Yeah. And I think the it, it took a while to get the lighting and everything right, as it always does. But eventually yeah. we kind of just flowed and mm -hmm. we got really good shots of the team yeah um but yeah it was a really fun shoot to do I love doing like beauty work because okay. yeah it's rare to get like good beauty photographers and then sometimes to get the retouching on top of it it can retouching can honestly ruin a shoot completely yeah. Yeah. if you like you can have great makeup artists you can have great photography and then the retoucher can just completely do their own thing and yeah mess up the pictures so yeah. I'm glad it went amazing and I love the pictures do you prefer in terms of retouching would you prefer your skin to be completely airbrushed or would you like to have some texture and you know a couple of blemishes in there what is your kind of preference I love texture okay. I hate being airbrushed completely yeah. I hate the look it okay. just it just doesn't feel it just doesn't look natural yeah um even blemishes I mean if there's a big spot somewhere I yeah. would prefer it to be edited out yeah I feel like e everyone would yeah exactly but I don't mind I don't mind like beauty spots or mm -hmm. I don't mind like my pores here um yeah. I like that look okay um so yeah. that I'm completely fine with yeah. and I, I hate when someone changes features yeah of someone like enlarging their lips a lot of photographers have started doing that now and like yeah. changing the features of someone's face Mm. Um, I think that's kind of, kind of a dangerous route now in the modern yeah. industry. I don't know if you've seen, like, um, what's your kind of opinion on, um, there's, like, images where models' legs have been kind of elongated so they look really tall and slim. Like, what is your kind of view on that? I think if you've done it in an angle where, you, like, you can do that with an angle, like, yourself. Like, if you just shoot from low, you yeah. can get that look naturally. If you are faking it and, like... Um, not liquefying is that the word liquefying your legs to make them skimmer slimmer yeah then I think that is an issue yeah because I mean it's um, a bit of a trend at the minute that kind of elongating someone's legs and it's kind of it makes their head the actual model's head look like a pea compared to their legs because they're like so yeah. far out because they basically in photoshop they'll kind of rotate it so the image is flat like that but they'll rotate it like that so the legs come across more so it, that's why it's uh, um, yeah. I mean, a lot of models have been very into that and a lot of photographers I know it's kind of a trend um but I mean yeah no it's personal preference if you weren't happy with that then obviously then you just say um mm. but no I really like that first image um I love the new work it's very very I, I don't think it's like too over the top makeup's like you know it's glam but not over you're not caked with you know caked with makeup and like I said the retouching is really beautiful on that so credits to everyone that was involved that's yeah. you thank you